about watching the wash daily. Today in news, a giant hemp company in Ontario has agreed to sell about a third of their infrastructure off and they're gonna lose a ton of money. The hemp isn't valued as high as they had anticipated. There's a lot of people in the market and hemp isn't being used enough for paper or instead of cotton. It's only being used right now for CBD, which is great, but there's so many things hemp can be used for. What they're saying is there's so much cannabis biomass on the market and it just isn't worth very much. Now, part of the problem is cannabis isn't being used for hempcrete and hemp made papers it would really take up a lot of that hemp biomass. Hemp biomass is the part of the plant that you don't smoke, typically the stalk and the leaves. All of these parts of the plant, they still have a lot of potential. When it comes to hemp, they take the outer part of the plant and what's left is called biomass or hemp herd. And that hemp herd is what's using hempcrete and can be used in hemp source wood alternatives. That's like plywood. A huge industrial use for hemp biomass. Unfortunately, it's not being utilized right now and it isn't getting very much on the market, which is a big problem for companies who are invested in hemp greenhouses and growing plants. Also news, Mary Jane, the report, it, Massachusetts in its first year of cannabis sales generated $400 million, and that was before the cannabis crisis. Since then, the demand for cannabis has escalated and hasn't stopped at all. What has stopped is the legal shops have been unable to sell cannabis until the 25th of May, which is next week sometime. So it'll be a good indicator of what's going on when we have those legal shops open again. But currently, cannabis is set to outpace last year's performance, which in Massachusetts was worth $400 million. Cannabis is an essential item, not just for people's needs, but also it looks like for the economy. Also in news today, there was a report warning that the Supreme Court has raised the stakes on trademark and copyright infringement. There's a lot of cannabis companies who have been using brands that currently exist sort of in a satirical way to advertise their products. Sometimes cannabis companies use names like Gorilla Glue or Girl Scout Cookies and they end up getting sued. The seed company who made that seed will end up getting sued. Well, now the Supreme Court has raised the stakes on trademark infringement cases. It was a case with the company Romag and Fossil. Now, Romag and Fossil had reached an agreement. They were using Romag's product at the Fossil factory. What they found was they were using counterfeit Romag products. The Supreme Court ruled that Romag could sue them was able to take their profits for using their trademark name. Because of trademark infringement, Romac was granted access to the profits that had been generated by Fossil. What this means for cannabis companies is you could do a lot of work and make a lot of money and another company can sue you for it and say, hey, it's our name, it's our money. And the Supreme Court would agree with them, it looks like. Thanks for watching The Wash Daily.